Hello folks, uh, I have another Nexos video about filtering systemd log messages. And this one only applies to NixOS 2305 or better, or at least some unstable version before 2305, but not 2211. In any case, um, that's because the systemd in NixOS 2305 um, has is is version 253 dot something whatever and versions of system d before 253 do not have this this feature so you can't do this in 2211 but you can do it in 2305 or better so i have a problem uh i uh let's see journal control dot dash f every second or so cups d tells me that it's expiring subscriptions which is Super unhelpful, um, not not great, uh, and uh, this this appears to be some sort of incompatibility between Cups and Avahi or something, but it doesn't really matter. We can get rid of these messages pretty easily. So what we can do is use this log filter patterns um, directive and log filter patterns. Where is it? <laughs> Log filter patterns. And this is a system, or sorry, a service specific directive of, of systemd. So it goes inside of an overrides.com file that's associated with the service, in our case, cups. And it is a regular expression. Um, although it in order to filter out something, you have to you have to prefix it with a tilde, and then you put the regular expression. And so we have to arrange for NixOS to put this log filter patterns um, directive in the overrides got the comp file of the service that we're doing. So um, the thing that we can do it looks something like this: system D. Uncomment this. Oops, didn't mean to comment that. And it looks something like that. We have to use this log filter patterns thing, and I'm not sure, not entirely sure this override strategy is required, but it works. So I, I, I cargo culled this from Stack Overflow. So um, in any, any case, um, we can now go to our, you know, I'm, I have an alias for NixOS rebuild called Swinix, which I'll run that all right so uh stop the cup service and restarted the cup service and now we can look, take a look at our overrides file which is an etsy system system cup service d overrides.conf and there we have it our log filter patterns is there so let's see if we still see our expiring subscription message we do not success so that's how you do it. If you have some annoying messages you want to get rid of, that's how you get rid of them.